Ah, first two hours down without a hitch. We should begin to see reports from our operatives in the field very soon. Ah, let's see here. Ah, yes, next experiment, Cave Dwellers. Bicardial infarction should begin radiating out from the Midwest within Hold minutes. It. You're not going to wear that to Thanksgiving dinner, are you? Come, I don't believe you're going to wear that. Why don't you wear that nice sweater your mother got you? Frank, on, we're going to beam 28 more hours of our mystery science theater experiments across the country. When every knee is bent, when every head is bowed in reverent worship to me, it won't matter what I'm wearing. Look, don't make a mess. I'm going to check the bird. It's wrong. Our oh. next experiment is oh. Cave Dwellers with oh. Miles O'Keefe. What I have on is fine, Frank. It's wrong. It's okay. Wrong. I'm right. Wrong. Right. Wrong. Right. Wrong. Right. Wrong. Right. Wrong. Right. Wrong. <sighs> In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joel, not too different from you or me. He worked at Gizmonic Institute, just another face in a red jumpsuit. He did a good job cleaning up the place, but his boss didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. Gypsy, if you had your druthers, what would your name be? Stalker Chin. Stalker Chin. Oh. What? Oops. Oh. It looks like we're back on, everybody. Hey. Wow. Hello. Check it out. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. We're just talking about if we had our chance, what would our favorite new name be? Uh, Crow? My name is Jose Jimenez. <laughs> Tom Servo, what do you want? Oh. To commercial sign. I've, I've always liked the name Magic Voice. Voice. Oh, I oh, could see that. Huh? huh? Anyway, Tom Servo? Well, personally, I've always been partial to Sugar Magnolia. Oh, sugar Magnolia. <laughs> commercial sign in 5, 4, 3, 2, commercial, commercial sign now. And from now on, I'll be known as Chuck Woolery. We'll be back in two minutes and two seconds. Hi there, Miles Standish here, hoping you're enjoying Turkey Day here at Comedy Central. Say, uh, Priscilla, <laughs> I'll be back to pick you up later. Woo. Christmas is here, and every year you hear this song 12 jillion times. So here's a new tradition, the Saturday Night Live Marathon. We've got the faces you remember. Well, isn't that special? <clears throat> On the 15th of December. Merry Christmas, damn it. It's a comedy tradition, the Saturday Night Live Marathon. It's Christmas! Starting December 15th, all day and all night, here at Comedy Central. What makes birthdays so special? Is it the party, the presents, the cake, or is it something more? Perhaps birthdays are special because we're celebrating the most precious gift of all, life. Unfortunately, there are many, many boys and girls in this world whose lives offer little reason to celebrate. Did you know in many countries, two out of five little ones never even make it to their fifth birthday? In Bangladesh, a four-year-old must drink from the same disease-infested water that the animals bathe in. And in El Salvador, a little girl lies in a dark corner of her family's hut stricken with tuberculosis, too weak to move. But there is something you and I can do. Together with the people that save the children, we can help bring years and years of healthy, happy birthdays to little children all over the world. All it takes is $20 a month and a little love and compassion to become a sponsor. And your sponsorship dollars, combined with others, can do so much. Like provide immunizations to children threatened by disease and help build wells for families who lack clean water. 
I can't think of a better gift than one that comes from within. So why don't you reach down into your heart and call? There's no obligation. You don't even have to send money now. Just call. In a few days, we'll send you a description of a child who needs you. Just read through the materials, then decide. Nothing compares with the joy you'll find in seeing your sponsored child grow and mature in a healthy environment you helped provide. So please call and help give a little child what he or she really needs the most, another birthday. Bring a lifetime of happy birthdays to a child who needs you. Call 1-800-942-4000. That's 1-800-942-4000. Okay, uh, Joel. Yeah, cool, Joel. buddy. W would it be okay if I change my name to Alan Parsons Project? They call me Mr. Tibbs. This is Richard Benson. This is Richard Benson. Now, <laughs> that's it. That's it. From now on, all bets are off. From now on, we go back to the old names for the rest of the experiments the Mads are calling. You know, Clay, when you come right down to it, I think I'd like to be known as just Frank. Why is that, Frank? Because if you can't find peace within... Oh, I don't shut think up! I went you. along with you long enough. This Mike Douglas furniture was a terrible idea. Don't I get to be your co-host for the week? No, and you don't get to sing The Man in My Little Girl's Life, either. Oh, hello, Booby. How did you fare going through the asteroid belt? Jeepers, don't remind me. Ouch. <sighs> well, my invention exchange this week is... Wait for it. Wait for it. Daddy, there's a boy outside. His name is Shut Tom. Shut up! Now! Everybody knows smoking kills, but it's cool. What are you gonna do? Everybody loves tar. Sure, who doesn't? But scientists have known for well over a year that it's bad for you. So, when you go into a restaurant and they ask you for smoking or non-smoking... Do what I do. <laughs> hey, it's a smoking jacket. Ah, Get cool. it? Like father, like son, think about it, won't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Well, here it is, Dimples, the latest craze, robotic arm wrestling. experiment this week, Joel, is a bit of a break for you. Uh, it's, uh, I haven't seen the whole thing, but it's uh, kind of a buddy picture. I've, I've seen the opening credits, and it looks to be like a modern-day Defiant ones. So isn't that right, Frank? I think you're going to like it. It's a little thing we like to call cave dwellers. Frank! Enjoy it while it lasts, Astro Boy Toy. Oh, this must be in a uh, shoebox format here. Yeah. Neat. <sighs> How much Keefe is in this movie anyway? Miles O'Keefe. <laughs> hey, now look here. You can actually see the driver turn and shoot Kennedy. <laughs> it's on the... Cave Dwellers, wasn't he? In, uh, cave, uh, cave Dwellers. Oh. oh. It's the name of the movie. Guess. Hey, Jody Foster's sister. I'd shoot Donald Regan to prove my love for Lisa Foster. <laughs> uh, uh -huh. yeah. see hmm, Boromel, the thorough but gentle accident. <laughs> hey, isn't this a scene from Brian's song? Yeah, that's uh, Billy D. Williams and James Kahn. Oh. I love Brian Piccolo. And when you hit your knees tonight, ask God to love him too. Hey, bro, let's go get a brew. Come on. 
David Kane Houghton. Wasn't he an assassin? No, you're thinking of Lee Harvey Oswald. No, it was James Earl Ray. Oh, no, Mark David Chapman. Oh, John Wilkes Booth. No, it was Arthur Bremel. Huh? Arthur Bremel. Oh. Oh. Okay. Director of the top half of the photography. There it is. Wow, a lot going on back there. You guys should check it out. Hey, look, uh, Rosta chili. That's good with a little pesto sauce and some sun-dried tomatoes. <laughs> <laughs> look Jolly at those thing. poor bastards. This is ridiculous. Huh? Oh, 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 that was over there. Wow. Turning the page in the... Hey, John Newman, we can put his spaghetti sauce on the Rastacelli. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Okay. The hills have eyes, but they have glaucoma right now. <laughs> That was close, friend. This week on Cave Dwellers... Uh, I'm grinding the basil and adding some Romano cheese. Mmm, grog tastes good. Hey, it's the cast party for cats. <laughs> it's Betty Buckley and she's eating Dick Van Patten. <laughs> mm. <laughs> Little stringy. You know, you can eat off the floor of this cave. In fact, they're doing it right now. After the fiery, chaotic creation of the Earth, in the turbulent period of man's ascendancy, hey, who's talking? our world is populated by wild, cruel, and ignorant men. Oh, you mean the 80s. But there are still a few who seem to have been touched by some higher power. And they're in and AA now. And bravery they get out of the fire. From the savage world. But their table manners needed work. Playing the center spear, Og. Playing defensive backup, Oog. And at right hunchback, it's Org. Dun, 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 Hey, there's a model with outside. Yeah, everybody's evolving and stuff. It's really neat. Hey, Grog just threw a bone in the air and it turned into a spaceship. Come on, Crow Magnon. Neanderthal. How's little Pithecus Africanus? Why, you? Come on, get in the line, get in the line. The Time Life photographer is here. Hey, it's the gorgeous ladies of wrestling. Ooh. Hey, how can they tell who's side, who's on whose side? Oh, it's uh, shirts and skins. Oh. Skins. Eat it, boy, eat it. Ooh. Oh, it's the man who invented the wedgie. Isn't that nice? It's an early version of West Side Story. Uh, I just met a girl named Uh. Stately Wayne Manor. Wow, it's Barbie Benton. Uh, Half, we're all out of Vivian. You called me, Father? Are you still here? What's the matter? Um, I'm all Wait. out of blue stuff. I've never seen you looking so worried. Or so ashamed. Last night, I had a strange dream. About a chick in a black bikini. It troubled Ooh. me greatly. Human knowledge, even in its most exalted form, uh -huh. is nothing against fate. <laughs> Come over here, my dear. Where the camera moved There's to. something over I here. must show you. Hey. Father, dear, you've always shared your knowledge and inventions with me. Is there something you've discovered that you've been hiding from me? I've always wanted you to be wise. But we'll settle on But books. remember that imagination is as important as knowledge. Hmm? Yes, imagination. Oh, oh. And this you possess hmm. by nature. Hmm. The next most important thing is peanut butter. But well, this yes. man learns only with the passage of time. Slower than you. I've waited until now to show you my discovery. Ah. A rearview mirror? Stronger than dirt. It is everything and nothing. Uh, could you be a little more vague, please? And death. Mm -hmm. Goodness, riches, and badness, poverty, and evil. It's boss. Need. It all depends on man. What are man's options? What man does with it. Oh. Okay. Then it might. <laughs> might be a weapon. Exactly. Mm. And like all weapons, it must be kept away from ambitious men. 
and Nazis. But, Father, how can I save no, it? No, daughter, your hands are too weak. You'll get fingerprints all over it. Zor's thirst for power is too strong. He's spreading south with his henchmen. I, I see myself there. But he would never dare to enter our territory. I wonder if it's worth the risk of counting on that. Or the risk of acting. But, Father, you taught me that science is always a risk. <laughs> ah, but a man of science takes a calculated risk. Mm, a science is only a means. One of many. Routine. There's also fan dancing. Ooh. What do you, the viewers at home, think? I am now too old for so great a responsibility. And for such flashy jewelry. Whoa. Well, what do you intend doing? To protect a thing of such great import. Dance. There is only one man. Ador. But he's a baby. Ator is the son of Toru. Oh, he was huh? born during the tenebrous era of the Spider Kingdom. Wow, everybody the did drugs then, I guess. Oh. Of Dakar, a despotic high priest, were sent out to These must be Ator's home movies. Yep. A former high priest carried off the infant Ator. Uh -huh. uh, uh, this is the part of the film we like to call She Had to Ask. Uh -huh. yep. Who constantly scoured the land uh -huh. to show uh -huh. victims of the spider god. Spider yeah. god. Uh -huh. Sweeping down upon the village with Ator, now yeah. a young man. Uh -huh. well. Yeah. Black Knights badly wounded him and Ooh. carried off Sunya, his young bride. Getting all this? Say. Whoa. As Ator nursed his wounds, I he swore to rescue Sunya and crush the iron handed rule of Dakar. Who? Griva. Son of Flogmar, keeper of the seven keys of Ventusler. Encouraged Ator and taught him the martial arts. And Marshal Crenshaw. Marshal Tucker. Things are moving real fast. Ooh. Yeah. Enjoy it while Hey, we're... Gene Kasem. When Ator was deemed ready to set out on his mission, Griba revealed the unit's nice. noble heritage and consigned to him the Sword of Turin. No, the Shroud of Turin. Jeez, Jeez Tolkien couldn't follow this plot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doesn't have dwarves. Hi, everybody. My name is Joel Robinson from the Satellite of Love. You're watching Turkey Day at Comedy Central. These are potato buds. This is a turkey baster. Be careful. The Naked Gun 2 and a half is coming to your video store. Before you rent it, go with Comedy Central behind the scenes of this blockbuster comedy. Action! <laughs> you know, it's like great stuff. Step on it. Watch the documentary, then rent the movie. Impress your friends with your inside knowledge. Everyone kept telling, asking me if they knew the olives I had. Did I actually eat these olives? The Naked Gun Two and a Half, looking down the barrel of comedy, premiering Friday, December sixth, here at Comedy Central. AT and T is constantly searching for new ways to help our customers save money on long distance. And what we've recently discovered is remarkably simple. Just those customers who spend over $11 a month on out-of-state long distance yeah, can start that. saving right away by signing up for one of the AT&T Reach Out America plans. If you spend over $11 a month, you could save on long distance, too. All it takes is one call to 1-800-341-4550. You'll learn how you could save 24 hours a day, 25% on calls made after 5 p.m., and on some plans, enjoy a daytime discount, too. They were pretty good customers. Who are you talking to? If you spend over $11 a month on long distance, there's a Reach Out America plan that could help you save. Honey, that sounded pretty good. Why don't we sign up? We just did. Great. Who do we call? Call 1-800-341-4550 and sign up for a Reach Out America plan. We all know how much fun playing the guitar can be, but until now, learning meant months of tedious lessons costing hundreds of dollars and getting limited results. Well, no more. Now you can learn to play any guitar in only 30 days. In fact, you'll actually be playing from the very first day, even if you've never held a guitar before. How's it possible? With the revolutionary Guitar Today video program. Rock, country, folk, pop, or jazz, you'll be playing guitar from the very first day. When I first heard about the Guitar Today video, I was skeptical. But I tried it, and now I'm playing electric guitar in my own band. I ordered the tape for my son, and he played his first song in only one day. Then my daughter used the program, and she did just as well. Now my husband is showing off with how well he plays. 
Use your credit card and order your two-hour videotape and instructional workbook for only $29.95 plus $3.95 shipping. Call now, 1-800-726-6000. That's 1-800-726-6000. Or send your check to the address shown. Sorry, no CODs. Watch the only sports show with a sense of humor. I'm going to make you my girlfriend. Sports Monster, Friday at 9.30 here at Comedy Central. It's the Wango Zitango! Get down. Before Ator could conquer the Spider Kingdom, he came under the spell of the beautiful witch Hedu. Ooh, share at the funhouse. A thousand year old enchantment. Yuck. Who Ooh. called forth a horrible army of walking dead. Or slaves. It's, it's Aztec, Aztec movie. movie! Ooh, how graphic. Wow. Ator is Check me out, I'm not half bad. Captured the glistening charm shield of Murdor. And the secret decoder ring. Oh, come on, those moon boots went out in the 70s. At last, Ator confronted Dakar. Played by Tommy Chong. Some deformed warriors in a battle to the death. Oh, he's been gone. Aided by the incredibly potent shield of Murdor, <laughs> and it's Ator reprised inside. Then had to kill Griba, who had revealed his evil designs for obtaining power by using Ator as his pawn. Then he broke for a After light After rescuing Sunya, Ator faced the immense, hideous spider itself Yee. and plunged the sword of Torin into the grisly creature's body. He'd never killed uh, that big a puppet before. The when the spider god was killed. The forces of blackest evil were uh, unleashed. Objects in shield are smaller the than they have poured its molten magma in anger. Then he worked out on the charismatic solo flex of Zontar 13. Uh, uh. Now rest. You've deserved it. <laughs> Later, when Sunya died, Ator retired to the Eastern Land, where he lives in the company of Thong, an oriental warrior and saint. Played here by Jimmy Carroll Black of the Mothers of Invention. <laughs> Ooh, I hate that. That's enough for now, Tom. Uh, scratching, that is. You know, that exercise works. You were right. I can feel it here. Wait, where's my shirt? The muscles are stronger. Yeah. We're still in a fight. Ah, so. Keep all. Used to be a tapanyaki chef. Yeah. I'm still using that old move. <laughs> Kiba! Should see him with vegetables. Okay. Oh, not done yet. Hi! <laughs> then they do improv exercises. Whew. Align the vertebrae and release. Break. Shake it out. There. <sighs> that ought to do. Now, where was I? Oh. Uh, charm shield, incredibly potent. Father. Oh, ah. Yes, my dear. Tell me. Again? No! No! no, no. no. <sighs> All right. Daughter, you know you're the only person oh, who you would recognize the urgency of my call. Mm -hmm. But I can't leave you at a time like this. During a flashback? Oh, Here, you will find with the passing of time that you can't always have what you want. But if you try some time, you just might find you get what you need. But you're the only one I have. You in the dark. My dear Mila. <laughs> dear. You don't have to worry about dear. my safety. A sly old fox like me knows how to take care of himself. These are things a man has to learn. Quit shaking me, Dad. And then goes on repeating. The rest of life. Unfortunately. What? Stately Wayne Manor. What's Wayne Manor? Oh, that's where Batman went before he uh, became the Dark Knight in those comic books. Oh, they're oh. not comic books, they're graphic novels. Oh, Come oh. on. Music by the Super Mario Brothers. Quit <laughs> 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 oh, pushing back there. <laughs> Keep your swords down, you're inside now. That city's supposed to be around here somewhere. Let's see. We are. Uh, we're 
we're trying. Which, oh, that, oh, okay. <coughs> Run outside and see what the trouble is. Quickly. But you. Go, I told you. Huh? Later, later. Well, better 86 to hooch. Oh, my little nip won't hurt. Use the handrails. Safety on the stairway. Hey, wait for me. Me too. Hey, wait up. Hey, I found some funny wet clay. It's raining men. Hallelujah. <laughs> Dad, tell me another story. He's here. I should have realized the time was so close. I've read the script. You must ride due east and try to reach Ator. The road's long and hard, but you cannot escape. <laughs> when you seem to have reached the ends of the earth, ask for Earl. It seems that nature herself declines to accompany you any further on your journey. Then you'll have reached the domain of Ator. Canada? How can you ask me to do this now? It is not for myself that I ask, Mila, but for the welfare of all mankind. Go. Take a sweater and be back by 10. Hi. Hey. That's my spice rack. Dad? Stop! How dare you lay hands on him, you mangy dogs! All of you put together are not worth this man's little finger! And I meet them from the bottom of my heart. Ouch! <laughs> you know that hat has a slimming effect on you? I thought. But among your many virtues, the first I find was forgiveness. Oh, I'm sorry. Perhaps I've not yet quite acquired total control oh. over myself. Come. They're only petty soldiers. They can't approach your exalted level. Oh, thanks, but now's no time to kiss life up. Comes to an end. All levels are the same. Really? For my own part, I fail to see why during life uh -huh. we yeah. create artificial distinctions among ourselves mm -hmm. because all men are born equal. Oh, let me get a pencil. I want to write that Listening one down. It makes me sick. I become more and more certain that my little visit here mm -hmm. is fully justified and will be extremely profitable. You can write it off on your taxes. Mm -hmm. Do you imply mm -hmm. that you are a conqueror? Who claims the spoils of victory? Or are you a common thief? Oh, geez, this has more pauses than a pinter play. <laughs> oh, observational humor. God, I love Seinfeld. Oh, we gotta go. get out of here. Uh. Chase me. Let's just say I'm an unexpected. Uh, too tight. Uh, oh, 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 I don't okay. know, Joel. I don't think this is for me. Oops, I lost it. That's okay. Yeah. yeah. What do you mean? You look great. fantastic. I could eat you. Oh, and I could bite that big toe. Ooh. Hey, now quit clowning. You know, what we're going to do is a little more lucid version of those really bad uh, openings we saw, the credits, oh, you know? Credits, yeah. hey, that is if Cambot will man the wall of keyboards. What do you say? Okay. Hey, right, will you give great. us that half screen uh, posterization effect too, Cambot? Now, uh, there Joel, we go. Uh, what are we supposed to do again? Cool. Well, all you do is we play the characters we talked about earlier and we run around and stuff. All right, right got it. Frolic, cavort, parade, get about the ship, that sort yeah. of thing. Uh, Joel? Yeah. Isn't this kind of fruity? Gee, I never really thought about it that much. Joel, it is. Yep. Well, no matter. Anyway, uh, let's do it again. You ready, Cambot? Music. There we go.
Ah, you're watching Turkey Day at Comedy Central. Turkey fact number 12. Turkeys are filled with enough L-tryptophan to knock you on your sorry Thanksgiving ass. Oh, fact no, what? no, no. Oh. Listen, listen carefully. This man is using an amazing electronic breakthrough that lets him hear a pin drop across the room. It's the Whisper 2000. Gives you the astonishing experience of super hearing. No more embarrassing complaints when you watch TV. Can you turn that down? With Whisper 2000, you don't have to turn up the volume. It's hard to hear in the backseat of the car. Now sit back and talk comfortably. Can you hear me back there? Loud and clear. Awesome. Totally awesome. What is Use Whisper 2000 in theaters. You'll hear every word clearly, comfortably. Similar devices sell for $60, but it's yours now for just $19.95. Here's how to order. To order, have your credit card ready and call toll-free 1-800-645-8200 or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4 shipping and handling to Whisper 2000, 4100 American Way, Roanoke, Virginia. Great legs. Thank you. How do you get them? I used to do aerobics till I dropped, then I found Thighmaster. Every single time you squeeze Thighmaster, you strengthen and tone right where you need it. So it's easy to squeeze, squeeze your way to shapely hips and thighs. I thought I'd never fit into these jeans again. Thank you, Thighmaster. I recommend it and use it. The secret to shapely thighs is exercising these muscles with just the right resistance. This balanced resistance coil is designed to give you results quickly and comfortably. Want to tone your upper chest and arms? Thigh Master will give you excellent results. Thigh Master, we may not have been born with great legs, but now we can look like we were. To order your Thigh Master, call 1 800 726 6000. Have your credit card ready or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4.50 for shipping and handling to this address. And if you're not fully satisfied, return it in 30 days for your money back. Plus, if you call right now, we'll also send you Suzanne's Slender for Life plan absolutely free. Thigh Master is not available in stores, so act right now. <laughs> I thought that was pretty fun. That was yeah. cool. <laughs> oh. He's still looking for the ends of the earth here. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Of the earth. I gotta get to the ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Ooh. She's in love. So, the ends of the earth are this way. Thank you. Ugh. You idiot. We don't even have a dough license. That way. Yeah. Ends of the earth. Ends of the earth. Uh, let me see. Uh, you were playing a Titleist, right? Yep. You got a rotten lie, let me tell you. Daddy. Uh, uh, lady, can we have our arrow back? Lady. Oh, Mrs. Lady. Oh. Ah. Hey, why is she limping? Because she's got an arrow in her chest. Oh, I can see. Huh? One thing still puzzles me, Colonel. Use the handrails. I invented them for a reason. Why did your daughter fly like an arrow straight towards the sun? Ooh, good metaphor. Of course, I could easily use torture to make you tell me, but that would be too simple. And too much fun. For our little game. Yes. I see. It's quite obvious. You're testing me. You want to verify my powers of deduction. Mm -hmm. Very well. Yes. Bring me the map. And bring me the head of Gallagher. <laughs> Welcome to Death Valley Days. The driver is either missing or he's dead. <laughs> I made this in shop class. It's a letter opener. It's not perfect yet. A Mark 7 production. He doesn't give a tinker's damn about anything. Hey, did you just turn into an owl oh. and then back real fast? Maybe it was too hot. Mm. Mm -hmm. It should be enough for now. Mm. Gotta wait until it's cold. That could take forever. Mm -hmm. Look, look out, it's wet there. I just mopped. 
Talk to me. Prepare everything. With pleasure, my liege. Hey, he's washing with lava. The soap? Oh, no, the real thing. Mm. It's Marmaduke. Mm. All right, good. Okay, let's see. We've got the cow skin, the banana leaves, and the dog. That should be about everything. All we can do is pray, although we haven't thought of any gods yet. Well, it's up to the dog. No, Marmaduke, don't use the triple overhand stitch. Bad dog. I could be wrong, but this arrow might have something to do with her pain. Ah. What do you got? She's okay. Boy. Look at how primitive their wet naps were during the Dark Ages. Mm. Well, it's a pretty big hole. I might need another one of those. <laughs> Got the crazy idea, boss. Let's make a giant cigar out of her. Would, would you quit? The entire area is deserted. Barren. It's the best show tuned ever. It's brassy, sassy, it's a musical humdinger. Let's see, Quid Moberg and Pano. Wait a minute. This is the Magna Carta. So now we have it. He was another pupil of yours, wasn't he? Hmm, As you can of see, he's about I'm his well part in this film, isn't he? Many stories have grown up around this pupil of yours. I wish you'd grow up. But now the time has come for me to discover the man-child within the truth of these stories. I pledge allegiance. This is really amazing. Hmm. Why, your knowledge of surgery surpasses even that of the Great One. Oh, Jackie Gleason? Oh, I'm just what? tallying up your bill here. I'm ready to go now. No, you're not going. I'll decide when you're ready. Little Missy. The journey is long. Once we start, there'll be no stopping. But I explained to you that my father is in great danger. Danger? How many is in danger? I understand the dangers that face all men. All men. The wise one is very strong very... and will resist. Strong. But his heart is weak. Heart is weak. That's the reason he sent me. Sent me. What do you think he's writing? The script? Yeah. Hmm. All so, right. Huh. But you must know this. Two plus two is five. I mean four. If you're too weak, we'll have to leave you behind. Well, thanks for the beer, Gomez. But first you must prove to us if you are the daughter of the Great One. If you can look bored and speak haltingly, you're in. Come with me. No, not you, her. Here she is. Too bad Gomez didn't get a speaking role here. Poor guy. Go in there. All right. I'm a freshman at a small Midwestern college. The small one was dark with long hair. Mila. Now sing something from Painter Wagon. You're really the daughter of a Cronus. Cronus Quartet? Oh. And you will know what to do. Okay. Next on Current Affair, Women Behind Bars. Hmm. Okay. Let's see now. There's a Super Bowl, and half a peanut, and a length of kite string, and a carpenter saw. What would MacGyver do? Is this right? Mm. Mm -mm. Nope. Wrong cold. Very cold. Freezing. Frigid. Freezing. Alaska. Oh, you're a cute one, aren't you? You're getting warmer. Mm. Warm as toast. She made... Uh, Very warm. She's making flash powder from her own fills. Oh, neat. Nice. What? Uh-huh. 
dibs. Rats. Love, 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 love. Do, do, do. They do have a lot of product to burn off. Mm -hmm. I suppose she could have just tried the lock. All done? Uh, Gomez, don't pass in front of the actors. Please. When I left your father's castle, he told me that if ever the geometric nucleus could endanger the world's peace, mm -hmm. A messenger would come to me and prove his identity beyond a doubt. You owe me 50 bucks for the door. Let Ancient us go. Ancient Chinese secret, huh? Generations. To be part of one is much more than the simple matter of your birthday. It's to be part of an era. It's to have fallen in love to a rock band and not a big band. Or to have played ball with an aluminum bat instead of a wooden one. It's to have done things as no other generation would. And yet it's also to share one idea with all of them. For every generation, there's a gap. They say that thanks to your teaching, Atto has mastered the forces of nature. Well, my dear Acronos, let me introduce you to Sandor. You can call me Sandy. He represents, how shall I put it, the opposite of your pupil, Atto. Looks like uh, Willie Nelson, Sandor doesn't he? Hmm. has mastered everything that lies outside and beyond the forces of nature. And he knows he Liza. He manipulates at will those forces which men believe uncontrollable. The occult. Oh, the IRS. Gas. What do you say to that? Many years ago. Oh, not no, another no, flashback. No, 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 no. Oh, oh, it's rough it's magic. Cool. For Hyatt. Dear God, he's dull. Of course, any man who seeks knowledge and is wise should be willing. See if you can make him slow down, Joel. Who knows? Hey. I might be hey, up there. Sure. As you can see, All right, Willie Nelson's a tough audience. Giving us a lesson in humility. Nevertheless, hey, doesn't he make well leather mugs designed. at the Renaissance Festival? Oh, and yeah. you will see a flame of defiance. Say something. Lime. Come on, fake it. Yes, it is clearly there. Mm. And that's my only line. Yeah. Sando, there is someone I want. You tried oh. eliminated. <laughs> what happened? We Jump are crazy. Far away. At the ends of the earth. Canada. Couldn't you find a more convenient place? And who is it, sire? Ator. Gesundheit. It's the chalice from the palace. And now you will witness the might of my power. Got a minute? <laughs> Things getting kind of weird. Say, I think your cape is fabulous. <laughs> oh, they're getting close to Ridley Scott now. I don't understand. We're not surprised. Are these guys employed by anybody? I think they're just temps wandering through the forest. Yep. Hire a thug. Uh-oh. This fog's starting to obscure the action. What action? Oh, well. Whose woods are these? I think I know. We'll watch these woods See fill up with fog. Uh, where's Mila? Who? Mila! Puma! She must be lost. I say it's foggy! Guys, this isn't funny. Guys! Puma! Don't Ator, do that. how are you? <clears throat> Did someone say Ator? Beijing Mr. Ator. Hmm. <coughs> yeah. 
After exhausting every possibility, the men move on. Fred. Wilma. Barney. Echo. Good one. Did you hear that? Yes. It's a table. Come on. Quick, run with me, friend, towards the danger. Boy, I wonder how much it costs to heat this cave. <laughs> oh, no. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Interesting. Oh. Huh? They're invisible. <laughs> oh, man. I don't believe it. They were too cheap to hire villains in this movie. Yep. Oh, come on. What is this? A Charlie Callis routine? <laughs> oh. Hey, why don't you pick on somebody your own opacity, huh? <laughs> what is this? A heart video? Yeah. Uh -huh. They only show the fat one from the head up anymore. Hey. Sorry, a little. Dad? Dad? Guy. Okay. Play Misty for me. So, let's recap the action so far. Uh, nothing really. Uh, you're right. Let's move on now. Dad? <laughs> hey, why do you keep hitting yourself? <laughs> Duh, dork. Whoa! Now they're scarier! Whoa! Booga, 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 booga. I do this to my dog. It's really funny. No, they're not scary. They're just kind of goofy. Like shooting fish in a barrel, dong. A thong. Oh, that's it. Thong, just kill it. Don't play with it. Good boy. Man, don't they want their capes? No, they'd have invisible blood on them. Oh, like, what? Daddy, as long as we're here, can we stop over at the Gap and get some 501s? Hmm. Huh? Oh, well, like, excuse me, have you seen uh, two guys with capes? Ew, grody joke. <laughs> no, guy, I don't want to sample Giorgio. <laughs> Hey. Oh, who are these guys? Oh, these must be the yeah. cave dwellers. That's right. 35 minutes into the film, and we're finally at the first plot point. Mm -hmm. Well, there's Sid Field. Hey, I hate Clinique. Really, I'm just looking. Huh? You go there. Mm. I'll go this way. We'll stay. Uh, no, no, no. It's walk softly and carry a large... No, no. Room. It's quickly walk and carry something big. No, I know. It speak softly and carry your... Now you're uh, crazy. You walk swiftly and you carry You carry, carry small... something. No, I know no, you no. carry you're something. You're walking That's and you go... Whoa! 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 Satch? Coppola? Dad? Ojibwa! Oh, Wait a minute! I invented a word! Oh. Uh, rhubarb, caveman rhubarb, rhubarb. I am a noble savage. God, I hate Mondays. Boo! There's that great ham and organ sound. Oh, now we steal your hubcap. <laughs> Get lug wrench. Tuesdays are human sacrifice day at the Sizzler. Kai. Mm, barbecue. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think Tony Bennett left that in San Francisco. Ooh. Here. It's a little rare. Oh. I want a Barney Clark bar. Mmm, something smells good. Hatur comes out of the hole, round the fire. Sees a shadow. Hey, it's Dr. Christian Barnard. No. Was. 
hey, he said hey. <laughs> you know, now this really is a heart video <laughs> with the thing. And... Ooh, greasy dirty. Huh? Uh, you say something, God? Oh, she got childproof cap. I've got a wonderful Grinchy idea. Uh, hey, she already has a plate. She she's self-serving. Well, speaking of serving, we gotta run. Let's go, guys. Oh, yeah, we gotta go. Oh, oh, it's oh it's just getting cool too. Come on. Come on. Hi, Tom Servo here, hoping you're enjoying Turkey Day on Comedy Central. Tom, that's at Comedy Central. Ah, uh, doggone it. Let's do it again. Take two. Hi, oh, out of time. Rats. Comedy Central has a brand new holiday tradition. It will be a silent and a holy night of terror for you lazy pigs. It's the Saturday Night Live Marathon. 24 hours of <coughs> goodwill towards men. Merry Christmas, damn it. Sunday, December 15th, here at Comedy Central. 74.58. Wow, how did you know that? Wouldn't you like to be able to do math like that in your head? Now, through amazing discoveries and telebrands, meet the human calculator, Scott Flansberg. Using my methods, you'll be able to do addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, all in your head. What's 987 times 954? 941,598. Very good get better grades in school, keep a running total while you shop, and gain a competitive edge in business. Scott Flansberg will teach you on this easy to understand video cassette. It's only $19.95. Call now. To order, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-767-9200 or send check or money order for $19.95 plus $4.50 shipping and handling to Human Calculator, 4100 American Way, Roanoke, Virginia. Zeppelin is back. Jimmy Page has digitally remastered all the classic tracks from Led Zeppelin. And now, Time Warner can deliver the exclusive two-CD version of the Led Zeppelin remasters through this special TV offer. So get this free 30-minute interview with Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, and John Paul Jones. It's really seduced by rock and roll at an early age, that's for sure. This offer is not available in any store. Call now to get this exclusive TV offer. Two remastered CDs or cassettes, plus the free interviews delivered to your home. This offer won't last long, so write this number down and call now. Mm -hmm. Well, say, Joel, I have a oh, question. Yeah? yeah, ask away, my red friend. <laughs> well, why is it these guys in the film give such fancy pants names to everything, hmm? Yeah, like they call a regular old shield the glimmering charm shield. It's like so stupid, guy. Indeed. Well, it's obvious that this movie has a really low budget, especially for mm -hmm. props, and yeah. so by adding really neat names to ordinary things, you can kind of dress it up. Like, it was kind of obvious her breastplate that she, the woman was wearing was actually an off-the-rack auto part from Napa. Yeah, but you can't yeah. very well say, uh, hither yon, there goes the uh, hubcap of the Plymouth Somerset, right? Oh, right, but what you could say is, she has donned the maiden shield of Valley Seven. Exactly, oh, yeah. now you're getting it. I, I, I get it, I see. Um, if I had a box of ordinary paper clips, uh, I could say, um, here is a box of incredibly bent pieces of wire used to hold the pressed wood pulp planes in security. Right, now you're getting it. That's exactly right. It's just adding extraordinary names to ordinary things. It makes it fun. Yeah, yeah, you find the fun and snap the jobs game. <laughs> Thank you, Mary Poppins. <laughs> yeah, spit spot, you two. Oh, I love to laugh, long and loud and clear. <laughs> oh, sorry, I digress. 
Um, well, anyway, you know, they give cool names to TV shows like that, too, like uh, White Shadow. Could have been called uh, Haloed Hoop Honky or uh, Jake and the Fat Man. You could have called that, um, well, uh, Jake, Jake and the, and the Fat, Fat Man. Yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah, yeah. 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 Do you know what occurs to me that when local TV stations talk about the Grand Marshals for their holiday parades, what they're really saying is Gavin McLeod. Exactly. Oh, I got one. A pre-recorded segment that's... Uh, that goes into a program is called a bumper, and yeah. actually, it's really just a movie song. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Ah, ah. oh wow! <laughs> oh boy! Well, let's see. Uh, he who reads these words of wit eats his little balls. Oh, now that's immature, even for the dark ages. Hmm, for a good time, call Dong. Thong. Thong. They're kind of dumb, they're easy to kill. The American Gladiators. Hmm. Ah, hmm. something dull. Come towards it, our friend. By the stubbing of my thumb, something stupid this way comes. Uh-huh, just as I thought. Hmm. Checks out. Meter man. Knock it off up there! Hmm? For a time call. Stupid rock. Stupid, stupid rock. Oh. Oh, man. Find a way out? Stupid oh. rock. Good thing you were here, Gomez. You would have never found him without you. Huh? Drizzle, 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 drone. Time for this one to come home. So Bob Hope owns all of that? Yeah, yeah, we're thinking of turning it into a nine-hauler. Mm. Yeah. You have failed, son. Bad country You've made me lose Bad. precious time. If you had all the magical powers that you told me you had. Again with a finger. Happened. I don't see how I failed. You don't, eh? Well, you soon will. Gods! Hey, Paul Wellstone. If after all this time, Sandor has been worthy of your esteem, then you are as guilty of having failed as he is. Flog him! Thank you, sir. Will you have mercy? I fear for you, Sandor. Mercy does not dwell in the hearts of those without spiritual strength and wisdom. Don't bite me, it's fun! Very well. Imprison him. I'll employ some tricks of my own against Athor. And you can use your time to come up with something new, and it better be good, Sandor, if you want to regain my esteem. And I think you know how important for you is my esteem. Mm. Okay, okay, I'll do linking rings. I'll do bottle in the cup. I'll do metamorphosis. Wait, wait! That's it here. Oh, we're already there. It's much too quiet here. Too, too quiet. Not a good sign. I sense the presence of something evil. That's you. Zor must be at work here. Since we left the caves, I've had the feeling that we're being followed. Ah, uh, that's me, boss. I'm right behind you. I don't know, but we'll soon find out. Huh? Look, there they are. What's this? Come on, quick, hide. Oh no, they've jumped right into a Kurosawa film. So it'll start making sense? Mm hmm. Yep. Toshiro Mafoon, right there. Ooh. I'm huge! Mm -hmm. Dig me. Yeah. Oh no, a mime. Oh. <laughs> Did he mention he's huge? Yeah. He does that. Warriors come out and play! <laughs> no, you see, I use two blades. The first blade lifts the head away from the body before the head can snap back. And then the uh, okay. the little yeah. skin level. Yeah. We get it. Huh. Come on, come on. Ooh, right in the bread basket. 
You know, the reason this scene is so good is because we care about the characters. We do. Mm -hmm. I mean, we do? We really do. Hey, it's the life of the party. He's got a lampshade on his head. It'll be the death of the party soon. <laughs> oh, wicker armor, courtesy Pier 1. Doesn't work too well. Let's just deck it. Burn stone it. Look out, it's Coco the Terrible. <laughs> Goofy old mime. <laughs> Okay, just like we rehearsed it. Up. Over. Cross. <laughs> I will kill you! <laughs> oh, or not. Hey! Is this where the kegger is? We saw Mark's van in front. No, wait. Uh, we just remembered. Uh, we didn't leave enough change in the meter. We're double parked. Bye! <laughs> no use chasing. Save your strength. The castle of the Great One is still far away. And the end of the movie is even further. Well said. Yeah. Is, hey, Matt and West. For you. In stopping Athor, I might inadvertently, of course, mm -hmm. also harm your daughter. What do you say to that? I say you could drive a Mack truck through your queues. Tempo, tempo, pick it I up. I must admit that as a murderer, you are most impressive. Mm -hmm. But as an Andrew McCarthy as a fan. You will receive nothing from me but pity. Aww. Careful, old man. Go to bed, old man. My patience has its limits. I'm aware of that fact. As does your talent. But I mustn't expect too much from you. <laughs> patience, <laughs> after sure. all, is a virtue which is found only in the strong. <laughs> You're wonderful. Marry me. You do amuse me mm. and provoke me. That is love, isn't Zor. it? Mm. What is it? Ator has escaped again. Oh. Hi, Kurt Gowdy here. Join Thong and Phil Harris and me out on the Idaho River fishing for trout. <laughs> now try catching a steak, dog. Thong. That's Thong. <laughs> uh, Ator, what's your dream? How big is God? For a moment back there, I had the feeling you knew those men that attacked us. Did you? Yes. Well, we played varsity together. I do. Who were they? They're the survivors of the noble tribe of Han. They worship the god of war. Soko. Mm, Soko. I know that name. Oh, he dated my he friend was Lord Sharon. Of the Northern Territory. Uh, what's uh, Miles setting on? Ooh, I don't want to know. Zor. In a great battle against the Han, Zor exterminated them, and spared huh? the lives of three samurai, and then used them to uh -oh. kill his own brother and usurp power. Oh, if this is another flashback, I gotta go get a sandwich. Do you think I... that Zor will? Oh, that's okay. Do you think my father's still alive? Oh, sure. <coughs> Zor wants to possess your father's knowledge, Rina. And your mother's wardrobe. And the geometric nucleus. Mm. No, your father's safe. As long as he has it. Uh, that's enough fish, Don. Thank you. Thank you very much, Don. That's enough fish. Just a few dozen more. Why did you go and live so far away? Well, it's on the bus line. Your father taught me the path I must follow. It is for this I live the way I do. <laughs> But shouldn't a man's destiny... Oh, I thought you were going to say something else. ...coincide with the desires of his heart? Man's destiny is always predetermined. Always a Calvinist. ...by the true mm -hmm. desires of his heart. I know what mine is, and I must follow it alone. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to pry. That's all right. I'm glad you asked. What's your major? Don? Hmm? The fish is ready. Hi, you're watching Turkey Day at Comedy Central. Remember, the USDA and your agricultural extensions recommend you cook your bird thoroughly to 140 degrees throughout. Thanks. 
The Naked Gun 2 and a half is coming to your video store. Before you rent it, go with Comedy Central behind the scenes of this blockbuster comedy. Action! <laughs> you know, it's like great stuff. Step on it. Watch the documentary, then rent the movie. Impress your friends with your inside knowledge. Everyone kept telling, asking me if they knew how many olives I had. Did I actually eat these olives? The Naked Gun Two and a Half, looking down the barrel of comedy, premiering Friday, December sixth, here at Comedy Central. Time Magazine called him the master funny man of the age. Now, for the first time ever, the legendary king of comedy and music is captured on video in the best of Victor Borga. Pardon me, madam, are you laying eggs? Recorded live, this collector's edition of Priceless Comedy is a must for every Victor Borga fan. It's the incomparable Victor Borga in his best love, most heartwarming comedy performance of all time. <laughs> the best of Victor Borga on VHS is only $19.95 plus $3.95 postage and handling. To order your personal copy, you must act now. There's a place in Louisiana just outside New Orleans. They call it the plantation country of Baton Rouge. Give us a call. We were really cooking, man. Yeah. Oh, wow. Well, I wouldn't get for a weed eater right now. Hmm? No! Don't kill us! Oh, what will you give me? Okay, you talked me into it. Huh? What? I'm dead? Uncle Dave? What is it? Someone's coming. Look. Cover your hip. Get dressed. Who are you? Uh, we're pirates. What do you want? Look, you captured us. <clears throat> Fine. Where do you come from? Everywhere and nowhere. Mm -hmm. Somebody say something. Well, answer. Can't you speak? We're from Sulajan. Eh, wrong answer, but thanks for playing. Sulajan? Yes, it's to the north, not far from here. Yeah, I worked out there. I know. It's where my parents were born. Then you're Ato, pupil of the great master. Yeah, yeah, that's you me speak pretty much. without fear with me. Much evil has fallen on the people of our village. Bummer. In order to survive, we must make an offering to the god of the Kungs. Human sacrifice to the serpent god on every full moon. Besides, our people are not warriors. We're only poor farmers. If we don't get help soon, we'll all die. Hmm, I like it. Make it shorter, I'll buy it. The Kungs have always demanded the blood of man. <laughs> yeah, they're funny that way. <laughs> we'll soon finish you. We must act quickly. But not right now. In a minute or two. Half an hour, maybe. Wow, check out the way that guy moves, huh? What you intend to do, Ator? We'll take them back to the village, and I'll speak with their people. The village people? Hmm? Hmm? The guns will kill us. Mm, I think we should run! Ah! No, let them go, Thong. If you love something, let it go. We'll go without them. We'll hurry down we'll there. We'll be the first to volunteer. I'll be doing the death scene from Camille, thank you. Mm. And the next? 
Come forward, cowardly lion. Oh, it's a woman. Mm -hmm. I could use a man like you. And I do mean use. Uh, you, uh, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> nice try. Yeah. We need another. I'll go. Uh, no, you went last time. One to a no, customer. No, not you, my dear. Our family's already given one life to the son. Hmm? Another will have to take my place. Nancy Walker in a cameo role. Wait! Hey. It's Speedy Delivery Guy, and has he got a package? Stop! In the name of love. Just wait for me. I'll be down in a minute. Just stand there. I'm coming. Okay. Well, not. Oh, I thought this was the Anderson party. Sorry. <laughs> I'll just be on my way. Who is this gentle stranger with pecs like melons and knees up fringe? Hi. That door. Where? You have chosen a day of mourning to visit the village of your parents. Afternoon? I've really? come to help you fight. We're not fighting men. The goons are best. You must. If you go on like this, none of you will be left alive. <laughs> Dude looks like a lady. <laughs> <laughs> Where's Ravani? Who? Ravani has left us. Because he had nothing to do with the he film. Was too old to guide us. I have taken his place as the elder. He was a proud, courageous man. But dumber than a bag of hammers. He never would have allowed such submissive behavior. What, did you call me a wussy? Mm -hmm. You must not lose heart. I see great Because a guy will eat it. Most of your young people willingly sacrifice themselves to be victims Coffee. of the Kungs and their serpent Tea. gods. Why Hunters not put your courage nuts. to better use and fight back? For the Kungs Soft can drinks. be defeated and I will help you. You will regain your freedom and Juice. live in peace again. Surprise is an excellent weapon. Hi, Estelle. How are you doing, Requires intelligence rather than brute strength. Posture, people. Let's snap it up a bit. But they are stupid as well. It's scary. They always make frontal attacks against their enemies. They know you have been pacified and won't be expecting any resistance from you. Uh-huh. What we must do is prepare a trap for them when they arrive. Right here. And then we'll take them by surprise. Mm -hmm. so your village is well situated. And so am I. Those rocks will act as a wall to protect you. And vice versa. That side is impassable to horses, so they'll have to attack from over there. To fortify that exposed side, I'll need several sharp stakes, ropes, mm. and three men to help me. You, and you too. Come with me. You afraid? No. <laughs> Won't you fight to save your people? No. I will. I want to fight. For my right Good. to party. Who else will join him? All done back Are there. Are there any more of you here worthy of being called men? Come Over on, here, we can Mr. win, Aper, I'm sure of it. You. Step forward. Are you no better than sheep or let me be? Judges too harshly. We are a people who we never believe in war. But you have convinced me. My husband, some hot Bring shot. the sacred Ancient wine. Ancient Chinese secret, huh? Ator's prehistoric cave dwellers in Milwaukee are a long way apart. But they have one thing in common. Cave land means the best human hearts available. And Milwaukee means sacred wine. Now, Ator. Cream or sugar? First, let us drink to your return. Okay. Then, then we death. will discuss your plan. Drink it all. Sometimes the poison's on the bottom. The village of your May your stay I've heard this part. Hi, uh, Walt. I thank you. And drink to the health, hey. prosperity, and liberty of your people. Hmm. Champagne makes me giggly. <laughs> but let us organize ourselves. I What's smell that? a rat. A big now, commie rat. I need your strongest men to build hey. defenses. It's Timothy Leary. I guess Lydia will have to do the tour without him. <laughs> Let's get to work. My name is Ravani. Tell that or they're going to trap him. Yeah, yeah, get some sleep, Quentin, okay? Is your ear drained? Good. Oh? Your spit bucket's full. Okay, so uh, I just call now, okay? Uh, do I just leave the sign on so the maid makes a room? Okay. Mm -hmm. I close the door. Mm -hmm. 
Are you done with your <laughs> drink? <laughs> we secretly switched Atar's coffee with Folger's crystals. Let's watch. Huge. Timber! All right. Now we call this film The Wong Dwellers. Oh, yeah. Thong. Thong. Yeah, Thong. Sorry. Satellite picture shows clouds coming in from the west, but this should burn off by about noon. Before the dawn of time, a race of druids. Nobody knew who they were or where they came from. Cool. Boy, that cleared up really quick. Yeah, I told you. I'm still alive. Think so? I wonder if it wouldn't have been easier if we had just kept on going to the aid of my father. A Monday morning quarterback. No one's life is more important than another's. Except mine. Your father would have done the same. Wear a tiny leather bikini? Hmm? This is CNN, Luke. Check it out, they worship the Munsingware penguin. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, pardon us, did you see a little tiny fox run through here? No? The village elder was the one who lured you to come to help us. In other words, those two were part of the plan. I wish yes. they were part of the plot. Some of us were against it and wanted to fight, but the majority were too terrified. The Elder is going to hand you over to the Kungs. Yep. In exchange, they've promised to stop killing our people. All right, I who's talking? I can't figure it out. It must be the director. The with Thor. And what happened to Ravani? The new Elder has been slowly poisoning him because he knew Ravani would warn you if he could. Fun. I think Ravani must be dead by now. Yeah. Hey, it's Teddy Roosevelt and the Rough Riders. I think it's the Kurds. And Way? <laughs> yes, Way. They are terrifying, aren't they, with those bandanas, and they all look very oh. you know, Machiavellian with their shirts off. Uh, Machiavellian? Hiya, Phil. Morning, Tom. A bus is now past, old one. Have you done what you said? Well, you, we have kept our promise. Now you must keep yours. I give you Ator, and in return, our village will no longer have to sacrifice to your serpent god. Uh, that must mean no. I think so. Uh oh. Uh -oh. This is the pillage people. <laughs> no, no. It's not fair. I'm the star of the show. <laughs> Hi, you're watching Turkey Day at Comedy Central. Turkey fact number 12. Turkeys would rather walk through an electric fan than around it. <laughs> They're just stupid. AT&T is constantly searching for new ways to help our customers save money on long distance. And what we've recently discovered is remarkably simple. Those customers who spend over $11 a month on long distance could start saving right away by signing up for the AT&T Reach Out America plan. If you spend over $11 a month, you could save on long distance too. All it takes is one call to 1-800-341-8600. You'll learn how you could save 24 hours a day, 25% on calls made after 5 p.m., and enjoy discounts on daytime I calls. I say we're pretty good customers. Who are you talking to? If you spend over $11 a month in long distance, AT&T can help you save 24 hours a day, 25% on calls in the evening. Honey, that sounded pretty good. Why don't we sign up? We just did. Great. Who do we call? Call 1-800-341-8600. And sign up for the Reach Out America plan. Led Zeppelin is back. Jimmy Page has digitally remastered all the classic tracks from Led Zeppelin. And now, Time Warner can deliver the exclusive two CD version of the Led Zeppelin remasters through this special TV offer. Hello. 
also get this free 30-minute interview with Jimmy Page, Robert Plant, and John Paul Jones. Really seduced by rock and roll at an early age, that's for sure. This offer is not available in any store. Call now to get this exclusive TV offer. Two mastered CDs or cassettes, plus the free interviews delivered to your home. This offer won't last long, so write this number down and call now. Oh, duh, I'm sure. My hair is getting singed. Last time I go club hopping with this guy. Funny, start lighting those huts. A job well done. No, no, please. It's like the back lot at Universal. <laughs> Feel the burn. Come on, go for the burn. Hey, here's just a wild idea. Why don't you rotate to the other side of the pole where the fire isn't? This scene brought to you by Kingsford Charcoal. Edges light quickly. You know, they shouldn't have filmed this at Yellowstone. Oh. Hey. All right. All right. Uh, Finally. Oh. oh. It's them again. Eh, I'll probably rip this out. It was there when we moved in. Good foundation, though. Had a little trouble with silverfish, but that's just for a few weeks in the spring. Ah, oh, hiya, Phil. How's the snake hanging? I love that joke. <laughs> that's a cute story. Hey, who's the new guy? They're so sad. Somebody say something. That guy with the beard really looks bitter. Yeah. I'm the best looking man in the Middle Ages. My, my, my. Hi, Fred. Hi, everyone. Looking good, Simone. Sorry I'm late. Hi. Hello. Hi. What are you looking at? Here is the treasure I owe you. You can count it. I don't mind. And I trust you will also accept a little personal offering. What you say? From me to your God. It's a new car! Oh, sorry. The Bangles? I want to thank you for your offering, though it wasn't in our agreement. Oh, close your robe. But do not think you'll be able to exchange at all or the girl for them. Darn. It will be my honor to perform the rites of sacrifice personally. I used the word offering precisely because I didn't expect anything in exchange from you. I'm trying to say I'm sorry. I consider our mutual agreement to be entirely fulfilled. Hi. How you doing? Your father is safe and well. In hell. Unfortunately, I won't be able to say the same to him of you. Or of you to have him, you or... Oh, well, never mind. All my efforts Don't to have you the hair. I work on the hair and you touch it. It's obvious you're not cut out for good deeds. Anyway, it will be less repugnant to be strangled by a thousand mm. serpents than to have to endure your smile. I see. What does uh, repugnant mean again? Oh, no matter. Mm hmm. Yes, well. You don't find me repugnant, do you? You have defeated my magician. You have defeated my warriors. But all your science has proved helpless against the powers of imagination and cunning. May I just uh, cup one I of your sure packs? Is a weak point. Ding! With your good. Darn. Your eagerness for good deeds has betrayed you, Ator. The master won't be very pleased with his surprise. Uh, it's all over. I mean, it's all over for you, Atar. I know we've been best, best friends. Damn. Has the mighty Ator. Nipple. Nothing to say. Must be cold in there. Mm -hmm. I have only one thing to say. Plastics. We will meet again. Don't know where, don't know when. Your master has taught me one thing. The dividing line between goodness and stupidity mm -hmm. is very, very fine. Come on, girls, let's go. Begin the sacrifice. Oh. <laughs> 
Wait a minute, the tape's not queued up. Oh, I got it. There. There's a maraca down there. I can't go in there. Susan Hayward's down there. Whoa. Oh, all right. Uh, am I late? Uh, hi, Travis. Uh, do I look good or what? Yes, yes. Oh. I shall now sacrifice for all your help and for the powerful protection. Yeah, uh, yeah, powerful protection. I view by the maiden, uh, as well as Dila, daughter of Acronis, and Adol, daughter of the Eastern uh, Land. Okay. I pray that these human sacrifices will please you, so that you will favor us, and we can conquer our enemies and fun. rule in your name, mightiest God. All right, down you go. <laughs> Hey, this isn't so bad in here. I can really get used to this. And a pleasant. Snake problem, though. What? Oh, wait a minute, folks. We have snakes growling here. Just like the other one. Hey, what happened to the first girl? Look, I'm way over here. Calm down. I just ate. I can't eat another thing for another six months. You're in great shape. Growling again. <laughs> you know, Streep was up for this role. Snakes a growl, huh? <laughs> it makes it growl, huh? <laughs> <laughs> slower and more painful to death. No. The more pleased will be the serpent god. You know, he told me that really in the strictest confidence. All right. Throw down another one. Just like the other one. Wait, I'm 4F. Oh! Man, Gomez is really taking his time. Uh, here comes a creepy mouse. He's padding. No! No! Oh. And now, the fourth victim to please our omnipotent god. Uh huh. <laughs> Hi. I'll just hide here behind this chase lounge. Bed. Well, this is a comfort rest adjustable bed. Hmm. Oh, look. Anal retentive snakes. They lined up the skulls. Ah, come on. I like to move that hair out of his face. Jeez. Uh, oh, he's taking her home for later. Bye. That was neat. In you go. Psst. Hey, Eta. I'm behind this little pneumonium post over here. Yeah. It's cool. What's he gonna do? Ow! Ooh. Accept, O oh Lord of Serpents and Evil. Get your own. Fifth maiden, which we, your servants, offer you. May your spirit and strength be transmitted to us, so that we may reign Hot here cut on through your wrist. Your name. Oh. Now the man. I always knew I would be an apostle. Oh. Ouch, I landed on my eight-sided dice. Her. Uh -oh. Come on, in you go. Get in the bidet, sister. Inzy winzy, come on. Aha. Uh -huh. huh? Here we go. Now we finally have some action. Right. Let's get busy. Oh, no. We gotta go now. Just when it's getting good. Oh, oh, That's just the way. Carry me. No. Chase me. Oh, 
say Joel, mm -hmm. why is it when they punch each other in this movie, it doesn't sound anything like a punch? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it sounds more like a bag full of sardines thrown against a pole barn. Well, you're not too far off, you <laughs> really? skipsters. You see, sound effects artists use a technique called Foley to create those sounds. It's interesting, isn't mm -hmm. it? No, not, not really. I don't think so. No. I think maybe you should humor me. Oh, okay, oh, okay sure. Oh, Foley, Very huh? Very interesting. Know? It's really yeah, cool. tell us. Well, yeah, I'm glad you asked, boys. Foley artists use a lot of ordinary items found around the home or office to create convincing sound effects. Oh, like the sound of uh, fists slamming into jaws? <laughs> right. Well, let's get started with something simple. An easy way to make a horse trotting is to use a pair of coconuts. Oh. Coconuts? Right. Now listen. It's ah. the sound of a quarter horse gilding on a cobblestone courtyard. It's pretty convincing, isn't it? Yeah, but what if the horse is on grass? Hmm? Yeah. Oh, you add these handy sod mumps, okay? Whoa. Whoa, all of a sudden we're at Aqueduct. <laughs> yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff, like uh, take punches. Oh, I'd rather not. I mean the sound of punches. Okay, oh. traditionally a leather glove against a heavy metal or a heavy punching bag was used, heavy okay? Metal. Heavy metal punching bag. Ooh, like oh, that. Ooh, but whoa. the sound in this Ator movie is much, much cheesier. Yep, right, yep, I'm yep. way ahead of you, buddy. You, you just use these uh, goggles here, yeah. okay? And use a pair of Hollywood meat slammers, okay? <laughs> Add oh. your own grunts. Real meat. Uh, oh. Oh, yeah. Akiba. Oh, wow, like that, that is see? absolutely perfect, but but why the goggles? Eye protection. Now, I want you to name me a sound, and I bet I can foley it. I got it, I got it. Uh, okay. do, uh, do the ocean. Okay, that's easy. Just add birdshot to a drum head. Ah. Ooh. Ooh, say, that's cool. Yeah, it's neat, huh? Okay, I got another one. Let's see. Uh, how about the sound of somebody's spine cracking? Oh, that's easy. You use celery. Make sure it's fresh. Okay. Ah! Oh, 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 oh. That's too easy, guys. Give me a hard one. Oh, okay, I got it. A herd of buffalo. Oh, no problem. Box full of hamsters. <laughs> Poor guys. Uh, did I say buffalo? I meant water buffalo. Oh, well, that's <laughs> simple. You just add some milk. Uh huh. Poor Check guys. it out. Well, okay, now I got a tough one. A yeah. rubber Wellington boot stuck in the mud. Oh, that's easy. You just. Fill a pair of pantyhose with some jello, uh -huh. like that. Wow. Oh, yeah. See, April. it's neat. Cool. All, All right, right uh, do a scream. That's a good oh, do well, a there's a lot of ways to do that. But okay. I'll show you this way. Just take an, uh, for a man's voice, you just take an Ohio blue tip match, uh -huh. strike it against somebody. Ow! <laughs> See? Ow. Ah! Yeah, it's huh. simple. Okay, now and, how about a woman's scream, Joel? Oh, well, then for a woman, you set fire to TV's madam. Oh, that's easy enough. Oh, eh? don't like my hat. Oh, no. See, it's oh, simple. Help me. There she help goes. Me, buddy. I'm flaming. Oh, get that's me a to great a great scream. Huh? Where's cool. Bill, Joe? Oh, help we'll me. We'll be right me. back. Gypsy, it's Turkey Day here at Comedy Central. Go, you've only got five se Go, forget it. Christmas is here, and every year you hear this song 12 jillion times. So here's a new tradition, the Saturday Night Live Mary Fawn. We've got the faces you remember. Well, isn't that special? <clears throat> On the 15th of December. Merry Christmas, damn it. It's a comedy tradition, the Saturday Night Live Merry Fawn. It's Christmas. <laughs> Starting December 15th, all day and all night, here at Comedy Central. I watched what I ate, worked out on my easy glider, and lost 75 pounds. This is actual footage of Keith's home video showing his dramatic weight loss. All across America, people have found that 20 minutes every other day works to firm all major muscle groups and helps to lose weight aerobically. I'm using my arms, my shoulder, my back, my tummy, my thighs, my legs. I get it all. Dual resistance allows you to adjust tension for both legs and upper body. I have tried bikes, jogging, even racquetball, and Easy Glider is definitely the best. And this handsome unit folds down quickly for easy storage. Call toll free like I did to shape up and slim down with Easy Glider. Call toll free 1 800 726 6000. We'll bill your credit card three easy payments of $19.95 each. You get a full 60 day home trial with a money back guarantee. The total price, $59.85 plus $9 shipping and handling. So call now, 1-800-726-6000. Is this you washing your car? 
missing all the fun or spending six dollars at the car wash when two days later it looks like this now there's a way to keep your car looking great all the time it's the amazing magic duster originally designed for car buffs to keep their show cars looking new it's specially treated fibers lift the dust off without a scratch and it's guaranteed for even the most delicate paint with this expensive investment to protect I'd rather use my magic duster than wash any day. It works so well, you'll want one for every car in your family. And they make great gifts, too. It's the best present my kids could have gotten me. It's better than washing. And a lot cheaper, too. Stop washing when you could be dusting. Call this number now to order your Magic Duster. Thousands have been sold for $29.95. But take advantage of this special TV offer and pay only $19.95. Call now and get this $5 carrying case absolutely free. That's a $35 value. So call this number now. Pigeon of all sock puppets. Yeah, yeah awesome. you might say he's coiling a cobra, <laughs> oh. big time. And you, you know what? He's not slimy at all. That's because he's made out of velour. Yeah, that's probably it. A yeah. planet where snakes evolve from men. Uh, you know, um, you can jump in here anytime. Uh, no problem. Uh, no, I got it. That's okay. You just stay. Do what you're doing over there. It's okay. Quick, hand me a hanger. Just cut the wires, Atar. <laughs> this is for Kukla. Yeah. And and this one's for Fran Allison. Yeah. I'm come on, beanie boy. Hmm. Yeah. Well. Oh. That was neat. Are you alright? Oh. You got a cigarette? Let's I'm stay spent. up and talk a while. I'm spent. K2, rising majestically above the Nepalese highlands. Or not. It's too quiet. Too, 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 too quiet. quiet. Tonk. Tonk. Is there another way up to the castle? Behind the wall, there's a secret passage. Maybe we can slip in unnoticed. We'll never free your father without them knowing it. What secret could it be if uh, he knows about it? I'll have to fight them. The three of us? No, just me. You were a big help with a yeah, snake. Yeah, anyone else. Gomez, you want to take a line, buddy? If I remember correctly, there's another way in. Yes, it's still there. It opens into the underground passage. It's a super secret double dog entry. You and Thong go in that way. Uh, it's Dong, sir. No, it is Thong, it's not Thong. Do you hear something? I swear I heard something. I'll keep them busy outside. Everything's gonna be all right. You must have something in mind. So you live around here much? Do you? Oh. Oh, come on. What the? <laughs> Oh. I'm the luckiest boy in the world. <laughs> I have slipped the surly bounds of earth and touched the hand of God. This is a little ridiculous. Okay, so he kills a deer, he tans the hides, he stretches the skins, he makes an anodized aluminum frame, he learns how to extrude and weld all in about five minutes, huh? He <sighs> Learned aerodynamics. Boy, you get up here, everything looks small. Only one problem, how do I get this thing down? Yeah, it looks like he flew into an Omnimax show, doesn't it? He flew into another country. A tour flies, and so does my heart. In his kite made of string and sticks and bamboo, <laughs> I fly along with you. So pretty. I go along <laughs> for the ride. <laughs> I'm not stupid like the rest of them. Ator, Ator, my sweet friend. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> what? 
Wow, that pod's that crazy. <laughs> you Gomez, I've invented the wheel. Atar Thomas Peterson, you get down here immediately this instant. It's not just Atar that's flying. It's the human spirit. Let's get out of here. Help me, I don't know how to get this thing to work. Goodbye. Goodbye, folks. Goodbye. I just invented air sickness. <laughs> huh. Meanwhile, at the wineries of Ernest and Judy O'Gallo, Tommy Smothers is raising quite a havoc. Uh, my hub, my hub caps chafing. Oh, this must be the secret passageway. Let's go. So high. Oh. Fly. Great. This is the opening of From Where Eagles Dare. I've seen huh. this. Weyerhaeuser is committed to preserving our natural resources. I can see my house from here! We're flying so free. Hey, and it's anamorphic. Huh? We're Squished Vienna? up. <laughs> hey. Hey, look up there! What is it, a bird? It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! Oh, I've seen that comic. It's a graphic novel, Joel. Hey, Tarlow, this is George Kennedy. Uh, we're going to talk it's you down now. Flying. You're crazy. It can't be. Come on. There's a man in the sky. Huh? A man in the sky? Get out of here. Enough of your lies. I think I blew my cover. <laughs> is that Atoll up there? Or are yes. you just glad to see me? Because I told him the theory of flight. <laughs> and if you had been a better student, so you could be flying too. There's those meat slammers. Theory of flight? I'll teach you the theory of fist! You can go on beating me. But knee me in the groin first. Because Artor is better than you. He'll vanquish you. We'll see about that. Oh, that one stung. He hit now that one. Connected. Made contact. Landing music. He's in trouble. Ready. I gotta land, I'm almost out of fuel. No, it's an Alpine White commercial. Well, looks like he flew into 17th century Bulgaria, and that's Mad Ludwig's castle right there. Oh, bring the turret. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> Message for you, sir! Oh, he also made bombs while he was Looks like he's gonna carpet bomb. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right, you crummy rats. Henry Kissinger says Merry Christmas. Oh, that's for calling me a thumb. Oh. Oh, he didn't even throw that one. Damn, no handrail. Oh, that's a nice, well lit uh, secret passageway. Well, it's secret, but they didn't want to get carried away. Okay. Thrust. Harry. Advance. Cross. Thrust. Back, thrust. Here's one for my old pal, Melvin Ladd. Oh, ah! my God, they hit Charlie McCarthy. Oh, yeah. Woo. Oh, I love this. This is going to be my regular Saturday night thing. He's ah. his own regular Saturday night thing. Oh, he's landing in the outback now. Uh, huh? How'd he do hmm. that? How'd I do that? Well, I suppose he's got a tank in the courtyard now. Yeah, and it's made out of coconuts. Right. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Uh-oh. This is for you. Ha! And here's one for you. Ha! There's a little bit That's more for dumb. you. Thank you. Hi, Tom Servo here with a Turkey Day fact here at Comedy Central. Hey, did you know that Puritans used to beat up Quakers? <laughs> it's true. Back after this. The Naked Gun 2 and a half is coming to your video store. Before you rent it, go with Comedy Central behind the scenes of this blockbuster comedy. Action! 
<laughs> and it's like great stuff. Step on it. Watch the documentary, then rent the movie. Impress your friends with your inside knowledge. Everyone kept telling, asking me if they knew how many olives I had. Did I actually eat these olives? The Naked Gun Two and a Half, looking down the barrel of comedy, premiering Friday, December sixth, here at Comedy Central. Generations. To be part of one is much more than the simple matter of your birthday. It's to be part of an era. It's to have fallen in love to a rock band and not a big band. Or to have played ball with an aluminum bat instead of a wooden one. It's to have done things as no other generation would. And yet it's also to share one idea with all of them. For every generation, there's a gap. Santa Claus is coming to town. Santa Claus is coming to town, along with Frosty the Snowman and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, Rudolph, full power! Now you can light up the holiday season for your children again and again with three of the best-loved original Christmas classics ever, all from Time Life Video. Have a holly jolly Christmas. All these magical characters are back again for your kids or grandchildren to enjoy. Frosty the Snowman a child's video Christmas, selected by Time Life as the best in children's holiday entertainment, and all for $39.99. So call now for all the warmth, wonder, and great music, too. Here's how to order. To order your child's video Christmas, have your credit card ready and call 1-800-447-8000. Or send $39.99 plus $450 shipping and handling to Child's Video Christmas, P.O. Box 4188, Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> Hi, we've heard you've been really good this year. So we Playmates are helping Santa wrap two free gifts for you. Because you deserve to get Playboy's sexiest home video and a great Playmate calendar, free with your paid subscription. You also deserve 12 months of Playboy. With all the Playmates, the Back to Campus Girls, the Playmate of the Year, Playboy celebrity interviews, and more. Right, Santa? And look at this. Call 1-800-862-1000 today to order Playboy. And we'll send you Playboy's private collection video free. A unique collector's video of exciting, never-before-seen shots of your favorite Playmates. Not available in stores, and you'll also receive our beautiful Playmate calendar. Both free. Just call 1-800-862-1000 right now. And we'll make all your Christmas dreams come true. Right, Santa? <laughs> it's good to be the Santa. <laughs> Pardon me. Thank you. Coming through. I Oop. know the nucleus is in here somewhere. And you had better tell me where it is. He'd probably tell, tell you if you'd stop where? pushing him around. Or I'll kill you with my own bare hands. I'm warning you. Now tell me. Where have you hidden it? It's one of the protons. You can't miss it. Hey, he's got to cut the heck out of his thighs with those swords. No. You will die. No. No! Ta-da! They call me Atra, and I don't come with a comfort strip. I'm not afraid of you. Oh, well, maybe a little. So, the mighty Athor needs two swords to fight with, does he? Mockery is the ignorant man's weapon. <laughs> I always knew you were. Oh, fool. the mighty long-haired John Saxon needs two swords to fight. 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 Is this the mighty Ator? Uh, no, that's living a legend. Wait. Who said living legend? Close enough. Have you lost your nerve? Oh, come on. Yeah, he ran to the ends of the earth. He invented the wheel. He's had a long day. Hey, look, the Desiderata's on the wall over there. It's the original. I'm not going to help him now. He's not much without his hang glider, is he? <laughs> no! 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 You have wonderful pecs. Made you blink. No! Is that a comic book over there? It's not, not a comic, comic book, book. It's a graphic, graphic novel. novel. But it's not good enough. Okay, now that that's good. Can he 
do that? Now, I'll cut you in two. Into what? <laughs> Bad place. No, I told you can't. Zor is disarmed. If you kill him now, you'll be guilty of murder. What? Wait until he is tried by the High Court of the League of Peaceful Lands. Oh, he's making the judges that are men of wisdom. What is this BC law? Justice is done. They will make him pay for his crimes. But for us to take the law in our hands puts us on the level of the barbarian. We are no, barbarians. Life is something man shouldn't take upon himself. What are you, Lucas Tanner, all of a sudden? So what the heck did I hang glide in here for, anyway? Could wrap that up sooner. Now beat it. <laughs> Ator, be careful! No! Huh? It hurts, don't it? Give my mustache to Trevor! <sighs> Trevor? Hey, thanks a lot, Dong. I'll visit you in prison and bake your rice cake with a saw in it, Bodhi. I mean, Father, fine. Father. Fine. Okay. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. Is Charles in charge over? Thanks for showing up. Do it. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. <laughs> hey, come on. Thanks to How about a little Fong. sugar for Ator over here, huh? Hmm? Fong? No, it's a dance belt. It's I'll be fine. with you in a minute. Your father gave me the nucleus. I'm taking it back with me. Oh, and uh, there was some turkey and stuff in the fridge. I made myself a sandwich. Hope you don't mind. Mila, I wanted to say that... You don't have to say anything. I know you must fight evil wherever it occurs. <laughs> My life is too dangerous to share with you. Mm -hmm. You must follow your destiny alone. With Chad. Goodbye, Mila. After I've finished, I'll be back. And I'll look like a leather pancake. Yes. Take care of yourself and your father. He needs you. <laughs> uh, I gotta go model for a line of action figures. I'll see you. Watch over them. I think I can do that. He is like so cool. Oh. Miles O'Keefe will be back in Where Angels Go, Trouble Follows. Feedback. Lest the nucleus fall into unscrupulous hands, and the earth and all living creatures be consumed in a seething cauldron of annihilation. Anybody got a clue? At all. Destroyed it. Mm -hmm. Perhaps in the future, man would be wise enough to use this Promethean design. Actually, Mrs. O'Leary's cow kicked it over. Oh, so, yeah. yeah. Mankind, you make me want to vomit. Go away. Just go away. I'm so sick of you. Get out of here. Come on. Well, this is neat, but what the heck does it have to do with the movie? Uh, your guess is as good as mine. I think they ran out of things to do. Yeah. Throw a little Oppenheimer in here right now. Hey, I see a president's face up there. I see a bunny. Huh. How about enough of this? <laughs> Let's escape to Wisconsin. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like he traded in his hang glider for a horse. He probably built that horse, too. Yeah, yeah. he did. About it. Out of mud and sticks. Raised it from a pup. Beautiful animal, isn't he? Where hey, look, tire tracks! To overwhelm <laughs> God! The inherent goodness of man. The man inherent dullness of ride to do battle. Wherever man is oppressed. Wherever there's Ad kids laughing because they're hungry and they know supper's ready. Whenever there's a cop beating up no on a guy. Too powerful and protected. To avoid his rightful punishment. He is the guardian of knowledge and the hope of the future. Yeah, right. At all, the Avenger. Oh. Huh? What? No, it, oh, the guardians of B.O. all of a sudden. No, that's the, those are the screenwriters. Take your best shot, guys. I gotta get something heavy to throw. <laughs> this is really cute, these credits here, huh? Hey, it's the new kids in the cave. Hmm. Oh. You know, they couldn't even find an exciting enough scene from their own movie to show with the credits. This looks like the Jefferson Jr. High production of Godspell. Mm -hmm. I, saw I miss that. Uh, no, those... 
No, 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 no. The mohawk goes the other way. You look like a turkey. You know, or kind of like a bath brush, too. Yeah. Walk like an Egyptian. Conk chomp. Hey, chicken head. Hey, chicken head. <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> now, where is my shirt? Happy Ann, I need to borrow some money. I think he's looking for James Franciscus and Charlton Heston. Wow. Kind of groovy. Okay, let's get out of this huh? dog right now. Huh? What is it? We gotta go. Oh, oh hi. Hey, it's Chad and Trevor. They found each other. What do you what? want? Come on, what? It wasn't that bad, was it? Come on. I liked it. Look, Booby, when we send you a film, they're supposed to be bad. What do you want from us? I mean, we, we have it worse than them. We, we have to watch you watching the film. Okay, look. It's bad enough that this was clearly the worst film you have ever sent us, but it was also filled with continuity problems to boot. My colleague Crow will elucidate. Uh, a what? You'll show him. Oh, right, right, okay. Uh, anyway, uh, frame 12247. Cambot, bring that up. A pan of a field, yet seen clearly in the back. Somebody's been four-wheeling. Okay, next frame, please. Uh, 216 Thank you, Cambot, for giving the fact that Ator is flying a hang glider. He's doing it over a modern city! <sighs> okay, now, the piece of resistance, Cambot 202043. Okay, during the raping and pillaging, a prehistoric caveman is clearly seen wearing a pair of Ray-Bans. Who's that behind the Foster Grants? It's Og! Yeah, and what about Scarecrow's brain? Huh? What, what do you, you want, want from, from us? us? We're, We're evil! 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 Yep, I guess you could say we're cut from a different cloth. Exactly, Frank. Push guess the you could say we're more evil in a three-dollar bill. Push the button, Frank. Guess you could say the factory's still open, but we're making different stuff now. Would you just push the button? Push the button. <laughs> guess you could say we're buying it wholesale and passing the savings on to you. <laughs> The turkeys just keep coming. Next on the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Turkey Day Marathon, Jungle Goddess, featuring the suppressed outtakes from Gorillas in the Mist, wherein Sorgoni Weaver bullies the magnificent ape into bringing her expensive chocolate truffles. Or maybe I'm thinking of another movie. Next, here at Comedy Central. Fish is ready. 